The Moundsville Country Club is about to close its doors. Like many others in the area and around the country, it's facing dwindling membership and financial hard times. Now, the Regional Economic Development Authority, also known as RED, wants to buy the property for industrial use. DK Wright brings us the story of the two factions in this decision, those who want to accept the offer and those who want to save the club. They say people aren't joining country clubs anymore. Country clubs, social clubs, the Elks, the Moose, the VFWs of the world, uh, they're all closing all across the country. Country clubs, especially with golf courses, there's obviously been, unfortunately, a declining interest in the playing of golf. The Moundsville Country Club, here for 81 years, is no longer able to meet its debt obligations. This is the midnight hour. Uh, they've done everything they can keeping this club operating, you know, uh, bailing wire and chewing gum, you know. The thought of selling the property to Red for an industrial park is heartbreaking to neighboring homeowners. We have hundreds of thousands of dollars in our property. Now, if you live in the real world, stop and think about this, the depreciation of our properties. Members say there are many other sites available. They wouldn't need this one. You could get out you could get down where Mitchell and Kamer were, and you can go up the river where the plants were right up here, I'm sure. Some say it could have a future as a public entity and a tourism draw. We could become a community partner with Grandview Park, the Strand Theater, Cocaine House the area motels. I think with the right people in the right positions, they could bring this back. But now, if the judge rules and the stockholders vote yes, it will close and be sold. What a shame, and it's such a beautiful place. It's one of the top five courses in the state of West Virginia. The board president believes an industrial park will create jobs. The property will be developed thoughtfully, it will be developed professionally with consideration to neighbors. They say it's a sad but realistic sign of the times. It just seems to be more and more of the same in our valley. Uh, once so vibrant and full of life is just sort of going away and it's really, really hard. D.K. Wright for 7 News in Marshall County, working for you. Those who want to keep it open say the clubhouse can seat 200 people for weddings and other events. There is a hearing set for November 18th. Depending on that outcome, the sale could be put to the vote of the stockholders by the end of the year. Coming up, we have